Well, the idea was that I'd be able to essentially talk to them and say, here is what I really wish I would have learned or been taught before going into my student teaching or even in that first year of teaching. And so what I really tried to cover, number one, was the idea of lower level thinking and higher order thinking. And I don't necessarily think that they hadn't had that conversation already. Because Mrs. Burnett, I can literally remember in fifth grade counting on one hand the number of times that we were asked to bring the textbook to class. Literally less than five. In fact, let me put this in math terms so that way Mrs. Burnett is kind of impressed with me, shall we? Less than five. She was incredible in using real world situations, real world tools, real world resources to make math at more of a conceptual level versus just a skills level. And it was really important for me as a learner who didn't particularly like math to begin with, uh, never really was a fan of math in general, but she made math understandable and she made math fun. And that was really cool to be a part of and experience. And because of what she was doing in her classroom, she actually won an award, a teaching award, the year that we were in fifth grade. A couple years later after that, she ended up moving on to another school district and then eventually, like I said, at the university level. But being able or being asked to come back to her students, let me do the math. Twenty four years later was pretty exciting to get a message from Mrs. Burnett and say, Jared, will you come talk to my class, inspire them, send them off into the education profession so that way their flames are fully burning when they go into that first day of teaching? Well, I had to oblige. And I got to tell you, it was an absolute joy to speak to those students. It, it was evident that they were excited about being in the profession. I was lucky enough to receive this from the class, which was kind of neat. Uh, the Panther colors with Elevating Educators logo on it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's get into my conversation with my fifth grade math teacher, Mrs. Burnett. Check it out. 